how do I know that the chamber that I'm about to go into is clean and safe, considering the fact that another patient just came out a few minutes ago? On our equipment and for the chambers and clinics that we support, we run air through oilless compressors. We use oilless compressors because that almost completely eliminates the likelihood of any carbon monoxide buildup. We take that air through a multi-stage filtration process, which is going to medically purify that air so that we know that the air that this patient is getting has no carbon monoxide and is purified from all possible toxins, including dust, mold, and fumes from things like carpets, paints, or anything else. Every patient gets their own mask or every patient gets their own hood, ensuring the fact that the oxygen in the air that they're breathing through their device is for them alone. With every session, the pillowcases are changed, the mattress sheets are changed, and the chamber is wiped down. In our office, we use a mixture of hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide, obviously, is a very safe cleaning tool to use. Some clinics also like to use ozone. Ozone is also a very strong and powerful and safe antimicrobial substance. Now, in a hard chamber, generally speaking, it's completely safe to use. In a soft chamber, we've never seen it damage the material, but we have seen it leave a yellowing on the inside of that chamber, which aesthetically is just not pleasing. So I don't recommend using ozone on a soft chamber, but if you wanted to use ozone on a hard chamber, you certainly could.